So day two of Fanatics Fest was unbelievable. We had non-stop people at our booth, but it was topped off by having three special guests come to the booth and buy a couple cards from us. We had Jake Paul, Livy Dunn, and Michael Rubin attend our booth and buy four cards from us. Three huge cards, and then you can't go wrong with just adding a Wemby base prism to your collection. But the three big cards purchased was a messy on-card auto PSA 10, a one-of-one one Caitlin Clark Panini VIP, and then a Tom Brady Joe Montana game used dual booklet patch numbered to 25. That was added to Jake Paul's collection yesterday, and we're so excited to have him be a part of the hobby. What's going on, everyone? Sam here with Leighton Sports Cards. Sunday, last day, best day, as they always say here at Fanatics Fest in New York City. Show has been awesome. We were expecting it to be great, and it was even better than what we thought it was going to be, completely exceeded expectations, picked up a lot of great cards, sold a lot, was able to meet a lot of uh, everybody that we wanted to meet, which is a lot of fun, so very excited to see what Sunday has in store as well. Portis. We're on day three of Fanatics Fest, NYC. What is your goal for today? My goal for today is to stay off of my feet. <laughs> How are they feeling, one to 10? Uh, probably negative 37 right now. Feet are done something. <laughs> All right, if, so your dogs are barking. Dogs, dogs are, barking. are barking. Dogs are barking. What breed? Rock, rock. Just dang, 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 dang. <laughs> We're on day three of Fanatics Fest. What is your personal goal for the day? To go back in time, find somebody with a time machine, and bring my Air Maxes instead of these crappy Adidas's that I wore all week. <laughs> my feet are, my lower half of my body's killing me. So you would say that your dogs are in fact barking? Dogs are barking. What breed, what breed are your dogs? We're talking like straight up Great Danes right now. So <laughs> it's not good, it's not good. Bad look, bad look. What is your personal goal for today? Sleep. <laughs> How are the feet feeling? Fire. Like literally on fire or they're fire? They're lava. <laughs> Melting into the ground. I'm walking in lava shoes right now. So so you would say that your dogs are barking? That would be the standard saying yes. I can't feel them. What breed are your dogs? Non-existent. They disappeared. They left home. They're not with me. Personal goal for the day. All right, so I have a weird personal goal. Right. And it's actually a card. So oh, okay. there was a card that was actually thrown in for free in a deal. And I was bet that I couldn't sell it. So it's my goal today to sell it. What's the card? We have to see this. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It's, it's a player who no longer plays anymore, but he just started playing in the Euro League. It's a Theo Maladon Obsidian RPA that I have to move today. That's our personal goal. So it's, it's a challenge that I'm up for. Personal goal for day three of Fanatics Fest. Making sure that all of the cards we've been buying for the last two days and the half day we're here today actually fit in the cases we have to bring home. We've been buying nonstop. It's been great inventory. I can't wait to start building Almanacs when we get back.
All right, y'all. So we just had a very unique Allen Iverson card walked up to the table by Alex. It is a Allen Iverson Jambalaya uncut graded card. So obviously y'all consistently see the die cut version where it's kind of like a little oval. This is the full on card uncut. My guess is you will not see this at any other show. Here with Peter. Peter is a Yankees fan. Favorite player of all time? Labor Torres. Labor Torres. That is a strong answer. So we are uh, going to have Peter open a pack of 1993 Topps baseball. See if he can pull the original shortstop, Derek Jeter. See if he can pull a rookie. So good luck, Peter. Cheater, unfortunately, but Jeff won at least. Yeah, awesome. thank you. Awesome, of course, of course. All right, so it's our last day at Fanatics Fest, and it became a Super Fractor kind of day. This is the second Super Fractor to walk up to the table that we were able to acquire for the collection. It was a big trade. Shota is lights out this year. Honestly, if it wasn't for Skeens, he'd be in the discussion for Rookie of the Year. One mission, y'all. One mission. Theo Maladon is gone. My name is Noah B. Tone, and I'm trying to get the Derek Jeter pack. Let's see what we got. Chris James. Todd Unley, Larry Walker, Henry Cotto, Bernard Gilkey, Pete O'Brien, Bob Scanlon, John Habian, Randy Villard, Arlander Merced, Greg Briley, Lee Ditterman, Brian Hickerson, What's going on everyone? Sam here with Lane Sports Cards. Just wrapped up here on day three of Fanatics Fest in New York City. Again, can't ha don't have enough good things to say about it. Had a really great time, picked up a lot of really cool cards. Favorite part of the show had to be meeting everybody that uh, is in chat all the time and a bunch of our customers. It was really great to meet you all, so thank you all and uh, looking forward to coming back. All right, it's Joe from Lane Sports Cards. Uh, we're closing up. What a wild weekend. We saw celebrities, athletes, customers of ours that we finally put a face to. It's nice to finally meet them. And then some random people coming up to us saying, like, hey, we know Lane Sports Guys. We see you guys all the time. It's been really fun. The cards that we've acquired, the cards that we've gotten rid of, it's been nonstop. Our legs are killing us. We're dying to get home. But like this experience is once in a lifetime. This is what people really in the hobby should be looking forward to every time they come to an event. 
This blew everyone's expectations out of the water. I can't wait to do this again. My legs though, I think we should buy some like ice packs or something or like massage chairs. This is awesome. Everyone had a great time. I'm happy to be here. I can't wait for the next one. What's going on guys? Brandon here with Leighton Sports Cards. Just wrapping up day three of Fanatics Fest at New York City. Absolutely amazing show. A couple highlights. Absolutely loved the kind of fan fest side of things with all of the experience that you get. Meeting players, running the 40, shooting hoops, slap shots on the hockey ice. A lot of cool things to do for collectors to come out. And then on the flip side, on the card side over here, absolutely amazing turnout. We were busy nonstop throughout the day, both buying and selling. Met a lot of uh, the, uh, our followers and people that buy in with us to our breaks. Awesome to do that. Met a lot of new people as well. Made some great connections in the hobby. Looking forward to what uh, the Orlando event has coming up in November and seeing more of you out there. Uh, thank you again to everyone who came out, supported us, and we look forward to seeing you at the next event. Y'all, Fanatics Fest is wrapping up. This show blew my mind from brand new people getting into the hobby, people coming to see their favorite celebrities, celebrities coming up to the booth and buying cards from us. Everything took place at this show that you could look for in a sports entertainment weekend. I cannot wait for Orlando, and I can't wait to see what else Fanatics does to continue growing this amazing show.